Maybe that's how, like, the prehistoric people, they were all warring and tribing and shit. And then one guy came up with a genius idea, like, hey, let's tell all the tribesmen that aliens are about to attack. So we'll build a bunch of mounds, trenches, and ramparts in strange but awesome shapes. So aliens will know not to mess with us, get scared, and fly away. Hell yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... Zoo. You're right, sir. Hit the button, baby. Party dance time. All right, we were looking at the Independent. We were talking about NASA is puzzled by a huge 8,000-year-old mystery structures in Kazakhstan that resemble ancient crop circles. Andrew Griffith is saying that the structures could force a complete rethink of our understanding of early humanity, experts say. Yeah, well, I don't think about early humanity too much because science has done all that, and most of the time they know everything unless there's more money to be made than more mysteries suddenly become uncovered. So let's dive into this one. I got a feeling there's gonna be a lot of weird shit in here, and I'm sure your brain is already saying aliens. NASA has released pictures. Whoa, it's not often that I say that sentence. That's weird. I bet they're like 10 years old or such. You see, NASA has released pictures of huge patterns drawn on the ground in Kazakhstan and in an attempt to solve the mystery behind how they got there. Or I would say that since NASA's releasing all these pictures, they've already gone in and got all the good stuff, and now we're like, nah, nah. I don't know, I'm kind of jaded when it comes to NASA. So let's just read on. The huge formations are known as the Depi geoglyphs. Scientists have little idea how they were formed, aliens, but think that solving the mystery could lead to a huge change in how we understand early humans. I don't even know what that means, man, because like early humans were just us earlier. So how this could help us understand early humans? I don't know. Like what more do we need to know? They pooped, they ate, they made love, they cursed, they got in fight. You know, like what grand revelation is going to be revealed? I do not know, but I'm sure science will sink billions of dollars figuring it out. There are around 260 of the designs, which are carved into the ground and made out of piles of earth assembled into shapes that include squares, rings, and swastika shapes. Oh, now I see NASA's paperclip interest in this. The oldest of them are thought to be about 8,000 years old. And how would you even figure out how old it was? You know, you can't like carbon date a formation. You know what I'm saying? I mean, were they just throwing darts at a board? The patterns were first spotted by a Kazakh enthusiast in 2007 who saw them on Google Earth. Dimitri Day, who works as an economist, was watching a program about the pyramids on the Discovery Channel and looked to see whether any such buildings were in Kazakhstan. When he looked, he found the strange structures. But despite being known for almost 10 years, Kazakhstan hasn't made much of the finds or worked to investigate them. Yeah, those are kind of weird looking. Those almost look like giant horseshoes, horse imprints. And yes, of course, this one looks like a single boob, but you know, single boobs are creepy. But NASA is now joining the hunt, oh come on, whatever, to find out how exactly they got there. NASA has released a range of satellite images showing them photographed from the first time in an attempt to catalog and detail them. Like, hey everybody, look, we found swastikas. Remember Operation Paperclip? Neither do we. Hail Hydra. Doe. The land around the symbols was once a key destination for Stone Age tribes looking for places to hunt. But scientists would previously not have expected that such a population would have the time or the organization to build and dig the huge symbols. That don't make no damn sense. Like, as we understand early man, they have TV, they have smartphones, they have cars. So all they had was time. They had to hunt, poop, and make out. Like, what else was there? Like, dance around a fire and uh, make giant symbols in the snow or dirt, or whatever's in Kazakhstan. The idea that foragers could amass the numbers of people necessary to undertake the large-scale projects, like creating the Kazakhstan geoglyphs, has caused archaeologists to deeply rethink the nature and timing of sophisticated large-scale human organization as one that predates settled and civilized societies, said Persis B. Clarkson, an archaeologist at the University of Winnipeg. That's what he told the New York Times. Yeah, if they're making giant structures that the aliens can see, I would definitely say they're mildly civilized. And I would definitely guess science got a whole lot wrong about history and early humankind. Like, we don't come from monkeys. What kind of stupid shit is that? But whatever, I digress. I don't want to make people mad with my opinion. It isn't clear whether the creations were created as an early form of art or for a practical function. They could have been solar observatories, some speculate. That's a stupid speculation. Like, how do a bunch of rocks in the ground form a solar observatory? Can you 
Tell me more about that speculation. In a way similar to the theories that the oh, in a way similar to the theories that surround other ancient constructions like Stonehenge. Well, they rocks in the ground, they giant towering rocks that go in shadow structure formation with the rising and falling of the sun. I don't know. Now I'm just confused. Great. Thanks, NASA. Some of the strange theories have also proposed that the structures have something to do with aliens. All right. I knew it. And that would be my guess, too. Or have been linked with Nazis because of the appearance of the swastika. While some of those can easily be rejected, the swastika was used in a wide range of contexts before Hitler. Others, wait, did Pokemon come before Hitler? Others are harder to dismiss because so little is known about how the finds came about. All right. So, whatever. Kick on over to the New York Times if they say anything cool. Probably not. High in the skies over Kazakhstan. Space Age technology has revealed an ancient mystery on the ground. The largest near a Neolithic settlement is a giant square of 101 raised mounds. Its opposite corners connected by a diagonal cross, covering more terrain than the Great Pyramids of Cheops. Another is kind of a three-limbed swastika, its arms ending in zigzags bent counterclockwise. Maybe it was the first computer, if it's all ones and zeros. Or maybe it was telling the aliens, hey, land here. Described last year at an archaeology conference in Istanbul as unique and previously unstudied. The earthworks in the Taragi region of northern Kakistan number at least 260 mounds, trenches, and ramparts arrayed in five basic shapes. Maybe they were getting ready to fight aliens. Maybe that's how, like, the prehistoric people, they were all warring and tribing and shit. And then one guy came up with a genius idea like, hey, let's tell all the tribesmen that aliens are about to attack. So we'll build a bunch of mounds, trenches, and ramparts in strange but awesome shapes so aliens will know not to mess with us, get scared, and fly away. Hell yeah! That sounds like a great idea, and as good an explanation as anyone I've heard in either of these two articles. So that's what I'm going to go with. You can go with whatever the hell you want, man. That one looks like a smiley face, but it's called the Best of Smooth Cake Ring. I've never seen anything like this. I found it remarkable. Then Compton J. Tucker, a senior biospheric scientist for NASA in Washington, who provided the archived images taken by the satellite contractor Digital Globe to Mr. Day in the New York Times. Ronald E. Laporte called NASA's involvement hugely important in mobilizing support for further research and fundraising. I don't think they were meant to be seen from the air, Mr. Day said in an interview from his hometown, dismissing outlandish speculations involving aliens and Nazis. Okay, I guess because he's a scientist that works for NASA, he's always got to dismiss theories of aliens, even though it's pretty much a mathematical fact that some form of alien life is out there in the universe of a damn near infinite. And nature has a history of repeating itself, but whatever. Man, I was worried this was a hoax, said Dr. Laporte. Yeah, I'm sure a bunch of Kazakhstan teenagers went out and built 260 structures out of rock. Because they had a lot of time on their hands. You know, because we have way more time nowadays than uh, guys back in the day did. Or whatever. I know why, but this article now pissed me off and I'm signing off. Peace out.